Hey guys, it's Studio R12 Live with Lena. I'm so excited about today's project. I have a lazy Susan for you. So stay tuned to find out what we're gonna do today and see all our cool giveaways. Thanks for staying tuned guys. I am so excited about what we're doing. I told you we're gonna be working on some Lazy Susans and I have some really cool news about that. On studior12.com we're gonna be launching a Lazy Susan surface that you can purchase. So exciting. So you're gonna get this circular board here and you're gonna get this half put together so you have to finish it but it's pre put together this way for you. So you set this underneath and I'll show you how to assemble it at the end. It sets under here and then you can make your own Lazy Susan. I'm so pumped about it. The other thing I'm gonna be doing today is gonna to be brand new. I've never done this before, so we're gonna hope it turns out okay. I got a Lazy Susan from Ikea, and I thought it would be fun if we tried to paint on top of this together. I know that we have to strip some finishing off, and so we're gonna try it. We're just gonna try it together, and if it works out, great. If it doesn't, that's life sometimes and we'll have to revisit it maybe in a week or two see if we can't get it to work a little better if you have any tips or tricks on painting on something like this and uh, maybe that you've picked up from a store before leave them in the comments below let us know what you know right okay so i'm ready to get started again i have this lazy susan if you can see how heavy that is look how thick like heavy duty lazy susan here so i have this for us and i went ahead and based it black and oh excuse me um, and then I have, it's live in the studio, a couple creams here, really pretty colors. So I have a light one and then kind of a darker color of the cream. And we're just gonna layer those on top. And then I am so excited about what stencils, yes, two stencils, I'm using today. I love cows. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I really, really love cows. Um, I grew up on a beef farm for my whole life. Um, my dad is like a third generation beef farmer. So I just, my whole, my whole life I've been surrounded by cattle, right? I know that sounds silly, but it just it's developed into my adulthood an appreciation for like the beauty of a cow. <laughs> So, I saw this new line of cow stencils coming out, I think it was the spring or the summer, on our website. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have all of them because we'll have to take some pictures or something and show you guys. But my house is covered in cows. I have cows in my bathroom, cows in my kitchen, cows in my living room. And I am looking at one to buy for my bedroom right now and my husband, is an artist and for Christmas he painted me one for my hallway. So I have cows everywhere. <laughs> and when I saw them, I really needed it, but I couldn't figure out, you know, you have to just know it's gonna be right, right? You don't wanna force a project. So I have been waiting for the right project to paint a cow for you guys so that I can take it home and this Lazy Susan project was coming up on the docket there and I was like, that would be perfect for my table. And then it would tie in with my kitchen cow and it would be great. So I was really excited. So I'm so excited to be sharing that with you, but we didn't really have any kitchen cows that worked for me. So I kind of bought, which is something you guys can do as well, you know, you can kind of become a designer with stencils. So I got two stencils from Studio R12, and I'm going to be combining them to make one project that I love. Okay, so now I have coated this one time in that lighter color. I'm gonna use my dirty brush here in this light, and this might be too tan. Like now that I'm kind of looking at it, you know, I don't love how tan that is, but we're gonna just work it really light-handed over this whole thing here. So since my whole house is done in cows, 
my sister's house is done in chickens. What do you guys decorate? Do you have like a, a house theme or you more like a room theme? I know a lot of people like nautical or like, um, what's that other one? Patriotic Americana. What do you decorate in? I'm, I'm curious. Leave us that in the comments while I blow dry. Look at that another second to dry it's still kind of cold and um if you are working with paint if it's cold it's wet so we're gonna give it a minute and while we're giving it just a minute i'm gonna talk to you about our giveaways today taking a drink reminded me spoiler alert that i have some giveaways so we're gonna be giving away in the comments today we're gonna be giving away three brush sets so be sure you're liking commenting and sharing on this video so that you can be entered to win brushes and we all know these brushes are amazing we talk about it every week if you're new to our channel or you're new and this is your first live you're hopping on please leave us a comment like share so that you can be entered to win especially if this is the beginning of your stencil journey these are the key to stenciling success i'm telling you so you need to get yourself some dome brushes what better way than to win them right still a little wet i'm gonna go back with my blow dryer and I'm gonna turn it on low so I can keep talking to you. We're also gonna be having a grand prize winner and I'm gonna be announcing that on the Facebook page tomorrow morning. So be sure you're hopping on tomorrow morning to see if you won, right? And it's something really cool. I've seen some excitement in the comments about it. You've seen it on our videos before. Wonder what it will be. So cool. Okay. We're in a place where this isn't like completely, completely dry, but I'm happy with it. And I'm gonna get out a sander. I have some sanding blocks here, but I, I just changed the paper on this one. If you don't have a sanding block like this, this is a 3M sanding block. You can pick it up any hardware store. This is also just 3M sanding paper here. So we have a video too if you've never changed one of the papers hopefully they'll pop it up in the corner for you showing you just how to change the paper i did that this morning um because i'm going to use it on this project and i didn't want any paint flicks on it it's not going to matter for something like this especially because the paint on the sanding paper is cream and i'm just going to run it over really lightly i'm not pressing hard um if you remember or if you've done this before you'll know that Pressure is what's gonna pull paint off. So I'm not pressing in really hard yet. I'm just kind of medium pressure, running it over the board. And I love how this is turning out. I'm so excited, okay. And I actually, I don't have a pre-finished project for us today. So it's gonna turn out how it turns out. We're, we're kind of just painting this project until it's pretty. We're gonna, whatever happens, happens today. Okay, about halfway, especially when I do, I've made a mess of this edge right here, but that's okay. Especially when I do um, circular boards, I flip them about halfway through because if you can see, one edge is getting heavier than the other. So kind of to give it balance, I turn it around when I'm sanding. That's just because I can't figure out how to get even pressure all the way along. So how it works sometimes so you've got to kind of accommodate for your own weaknesses a little bit that is one of mine so pretty this is like gorgeous okay i'm impressed you guys have no idea how many times i paint something and i'm like really excited about what it's gonna look like and i get it done and it's like Do you have those moments where you're like, on it, I'm gonna have to paint over this again because it's not what I wanted it to be. And that's okay because it's part of the process, right? It's just the process. Now, I don't want too much black showing through because I'm gonna do my stenciled lettering black, 
But I do feel like, while I really like the, the scratchy graininess and I love all this, what I need to do, I'm gonna do my edge there a little heavy, is I need to take my light colored cream and work back over this middle. It got really heavy with that tan and it just doesn't, just doesn't flow. Really, I'm putting a big stencil there so I could probably get away with leaving it. But I'm not going to leave it. I'm just going to patch that. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm like hiccuping. So I'm not sure what's going on. It's probably just being pregnant. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Dipping that in the water. And I'm not letting this dry all the way. It's still a little cold, a little tacky. I'm gonna kind of wet sand it. And now I am pressing kind of hard. You see all those big paint curls coming off? Look how long that is. So yeah, I am stripping off a little bit more of that layer I just put on, but I'm just, I just needed to tone the center of my board a little better. Yeah, that's so much prettier. Okay, love it. All right, dust your board off really good. Let me just dust it. The other way you can do that is hit it real quick with your blow dryer. Get that all out of our way. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna show you our stencils for today. The first one I have here is Heifer Please. No, so cute, so funny. I just love this cow face and the laurels. So cute, right? I, I just thought it was precious. But I don't know how well Heifer Please goes on my, my kitchen table. I just don't, I don't know. Maybe it goes on yours and that's cool. I don't think it goes on mine. So I found this other stencil here that is creamery, so cute, butter ice cream. It's a creamery stencil, and I liked this word, right? So instead of doing heifer please, I'm gonna be layering in this curved creamery word, okay? So this is kind of the tough part about doing this because you have to kind of center it using both stencils. Make sure they're both in the right spot so that it's not too low and not too high. Again, I usually have a painted original ready to go for us and today I don't. So I think this is where the cow needs to be. You could use a T-square. I'm, I'm just not that exact. I'm not that, nope, it's not. I'm just not that person most of the time. I think that's okay. If you are, that's cool. I love that for you. Love that you are a, probably a T-square user. You probably make charts and lists. That's awesome. Not that girl. All right, Whoop. and of course I flip flop moved it. We're just gonna line it back up right about here. So I'm leaving about this much space, about an inch of space here between the bottom of my board and my cow's nose, mouth. And then we've got, we're gonna put creamery along the top here. Okay. And you know what? If it turns out really weird and it's wonky, I won't do it on video, but what I would do if I were home and I didn't space it out right, paint is your best eraser, right? So what I would do is I just repaint over my stencil here that was all messed up. I just repaint my background. Super simple. All right, and so you can hear that. Do you hear that stick? Did you hear it? Let me give it a second. I want you to hear something. Do you hear that stick? So I've got lots of layers of paint under this. That stick means my paint's not dry. Which means we have to blow dry it again. Okay, so 
sorry about that guys. I just said that we're gonna have to do probably a few layers of this cow and I don't want it to get all messed up just because my paint wasn't dry, right? That would be really sad. Okay, so now this is a square stencil on a circular board and I didn't get my tape out. All this handy dandy craft station, that's awesome. Um, so I'm gonna get some tape, but it does fit on the sides here. Cause they are both, I believe these are both uh, 12, they might be 15 inch. So they're gonna have the same border here, right? Which makes things simple. If they didn't, what I would do, I'll show you just for fun. So I'd put my hand on my board on the top with my stencil and a hand on the bottom and I flip it like a pancake. And I'll show you how to do the tape if it doesn't fit, just for fun. Also, if you can see in the, the down shot here, these holes are how you install your Lazy Susan. I'll show you that. So I put a little bit of tape on the back, spray it down the edge, hit the corner of that stencil, and then it's taped that way. So you can do it that way, or but I'm gonna tape this corner here just because I can. So there's lots of ways. And of course, I got paint dust all over my stencil. So we've been doing these lives for a while now, right? And if you have watched them with us, I am wondering what your favorite live so far has been. Is there one that you remember, one that sticks out to you? I think my favorite, hmm, oh, I didn't get paper towels out either. I don't know. Personally, I enjoy everything I paint on here. But I think one of my favorites was the one with Carrie. I like having someone to talk to. <laughs> so, it's probably doing one with Carrie because there's just someone there to bounce off of for me. But what was your favorite one so far? If you have watched more than one. Or what's the best tip you've learned? That's cool too. If you have learned something from our lives, I have to tell you when I look at the comments and I do, <laughs> Um, I just look to see what you guys say sometimes. I look at the comments and you say such kind things about all the cool stuff you've learned and I just am so appreciative of that feedback. So if you haven't left us any feedback so far in the comment section, please do that. Give us your feedback. Tell us what you've loved. Tell us what you've learned. If there's something you know that you want to share, this is a circle full of people who want to hear, right? So share your tips and tricks in our comment section as well. We'd love to, we'd love to hear that. My pretty yellow cup might be one of my favorite colors. All right, so I'm just working in circles here. And when you're swirling, you're not pressing. I'm not fanning my bristles out or anything like that. <laughs> that little bit of paint, it's gonna go such a long way. Look, I already have like half this cow done, one brush full of paint. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love it. I love her. My paint might still be a little tacky, so I am gonna be careful. And you're gonna have to watch for things like digging holes when your paint is really tacky underneath. But I've blow dried it as much as I can stand to blow dry on a live. <laughs> If I were doing this just at home or a normal work day, whoop, and I hit that heifer, please. I'll show you how to fix that. Um, anyway, if I were doing this at home or just on a normal live, I probably would leave it to dry for a few hours. But you don't wanna stare at me for a few hours, do you, while we watch this dry? Who has time for that? Okay, just a little bit of water. Oh, paper towel. You can also use, if you have any of those white erasers at home, those work great too. But I always find that I get panicky about my mistakes <laughs> when they happen. Even though I know they're fixable, I get a little like, so I just grab whatever's immediately in my hand and that usually happens to be a paper towel. So we're also going to learn from our mistakes and we're gonna tape this off. There we go, okay. I'm gonna do my laurels black and then if I don't like them black, we can go back and make them green. 
that I kind of think I want everything black, even the lettering. So cute. So cute. So I'm wondering, is there anybody else out there who loves cows? Or who decorates in cows? I'm wondering, if you are that girl, if you are a sister of my heart with the cows in your home, let me know. Because I have to tell you that some of my friends laugh when they come over. They're like, why are you so obsessed with cows? It's trendy, I'm telling you. I'm trying to make it a thing. So if it's a thing for you, please tell me so I can be like, yeah, I know other people who do it too. So cute, okay. So fun. If you are excited about this Lazy Susan project as well, and about the fact that we are selling Lazy Susans on Studio R12 now, please give us some love, right? Send those bubbles up if that's something you are excited that's coming your way from Studio R12. Please be sure you show us some love. We are excited about it. I'm excited about it for you. I think this is awesome. It gives you something different. I mean, you know, I've, I've seen the comments too, like, I'm running out of wall space. <laughs> well, guess what? Now you just need some table space because we've given you some Lazy Susans. <laughs> They'd be great on coffee tables. Um, you could put them in your cabinets. Do you have Lazy Susans in your house? Do you already use them? Do you need some? I was telling my sister about this project and she was like, I need a Lazy Susan. Will you paint me one? <laughs> yes, I'll paint you a Lazy Susan. So she wants one for her dining room table to put like salt and pepper and napkins on. So cute. She's getting her kitchen redone. So I'm waiting to paint her one until it's all pulled together. But she does want one. I think Lazy Susans are kind of magic. Okay. Yes, I think that's enough. That's all we're gonna call it. What was that, two coats? I'm gonna stipple this ear because it's a little lighter than I like. This one right here, so I'm gonna stipple it real quick. And then to fix the polka dot texture. Okay, now to fix the texture that I gave it, I'm gonna swirl over top of it. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Now it's a little darker than the other one. Tuck one. There we go. Just all the finagling around here. That's what the project is. What is that, that saying that um, Patty likes to say? Paint it till it's pretty. Yes. We're gonna remember to say that all the time now. Just paint, work on it till it's pretty, till you love it, right? Paint it till it's pretty, I like that. Okay, perfect. Now she's even. Cute. Oh my, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a little free hand right there. That was a little dangerous. I thought about how dangerous it was in retrospect, kind of as I was doing it. <laughs> but that's okay, all right. We're gonna make sure this one gets where it needs to be. I don't wanna I don't wanna put it too far up because I don't wanna fight with the curve of the of the lazy susan here, but I wanna make the lettering right, which means the stencil looks crooked. Which feels wrong. I think it just must be curved at a different angle. That sometimes is a thing with projects like this when you're kind of making it up on your own. But personally, I think it's gonna turn out great. So I'm gonna go with it. I'm feeling really risky today, guys. I don't, I really don't know. I'm usually not a risk taker, but here I am live on Studio R12's Facebook page. Just, just being wild. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Here we are. All right, let's, I'm committed. 
Okay, so we're painting this word creamery. So cute. And I am, I know that normally, like, I'd probably do these a lot darker. I'd probably, for a lot of different projects, do my stencils more true. But I like the idea that it's kind of rustic and it's kind of farmhouse and so it's not perfect. I kind of like that. Okay. Oh, I'm painting my stool a little bit there. That looks good. That looks really good. I'm kind of impressed. It's not perfect. There's a little bit more room here than I'd like. Well, it's really not too bad. Okay, I can't move it up too much more because my creamery is going to get in the way, but you know what? I'm going to have cute stuff on top of this, so I'm not really that worried about it. I think it's cute. I'm trying to decide if there's anything I can do to kind of mask that. Because I'm, I'm trying to say that I like it. I'm having a hard time. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to spatter. And I did not anticipate on spattering today. I wore a shirt that I like. Actually, I wore a pantsuit that I like. My husband calls them onesies, but it's a jumper. So, I don't know. I don't like that. It really offends me when he talks about my onesies. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm in a mood. I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. Ugh. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna get some water here. Back to painting and things we all care about. And I've got a little bit of paint there. I'm just gonna mix it up here with my White Wonder, my favorite brush, favorite technique. And I'm actually gonna scoop in just a smidge of that really light cream. We're gonna see what that does. So I've taken this down, this color down just a little bit. So it's not stark, stark white. And let's get this pretty oval glaze here. Kind of test off. There we go. And as you know, we've talked about before a lot of times. Um, spatter is kind of like throwing on, in the makeup world, it's kind of the equivalent of throwing on like powder and mascara. It kind of just livens you up a little bit, can mask a few things without being an extreme change. That's kind of what this is gonna do. Yeah, that actually makes it a little better. Okay. It's also gonna take down that ear right there. Woo! She's not perfect, but she's cute. All right, that's much better to me. All right, I'm gonna wash off my white wonder. Something else I can do, take a foam brush here. Probably should get a new piece of palette paper. And then I'm sure, I feel like this is something that I love the technique and I've not done it in a hundred years. And if you have spattered and then you're trying to touch your board, just be really careful, you're probably gonna smear. But this board actually has a good big lip, so I'm okay. So I'm just gonna grab the lip of the board here. Just gonna try and Okay. Try not to force it too much. Just kind of let it go where it goes. How annoying and artsy does that sound? Just, just let it happen. <laughs> but it's kind of true. You just kind of have to let the paint do its thing. And then if you don't love it, you just wipe it off with water. It's no big deal. So I think that made it a little better for me. Now down here, I'm not gonna go in as deep because this is where it's kind of off balance. I'm gonna skate straight right here. I 
I'm kind of trying to go with, go straight, first of all, I should probably stand straight on it, straight into the board and kind of flow with where the sand has already left those pretty places, right? Okay, woo, painted it till it was pretty. Now I'm really excited about this project. So I'm gonna show it to you now. Hold her up. Much better. So went from kind of awkward to like, oh, okay, okay. So in that antiquing that we pulled down into there with that foam brush, that's gonna help give it some balance and give it some of that black in the top so it's not so black heavy here on the bottom, okay? Now, I'm gonna give this just a second to dry. It won't dry completely before I show you how to install the Lazy Susan. Should have thought about that before I spattered. We're gonna go on to this. I'm gonna tell you what we decided would be the best way to work on this. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna see. So, again, this is a Lazy Susan that we picked up from Ikea. Um, and I have some sanding brush here. Now these come with like a, a finish on them, okay? So really what we have to do is get the finish off. That's what we're gonna try to do. We're not gonna try to scratch it up or dig down into the, into the wood here. We're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try and get the finish off here and this is the big grit is the first thing we're using and again I'm not trying to scratch it up look at my arms <laughs> everyone in here is like in the studio <laughs> I don't know if it's translating that way at home but we're all cringing if it is, I'm sorry. I didn't anticipate it. Okay. So have you ever done this at home? Do you know something special about doing this? If you do, please put it in the comments. Tell us all about it. The other thing to say about the comments is there should be a comment down there for you that is linked to all the tools, everything I'm using here today. Okay. All right. Can't stand that anymore. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna go to this lighter grit sander, and I think this is a 120. That seems right. 120 grit. That's typically what we have on these. I can't see the inside of it. And we're just gonna buff it. This is a little harder to work on because it's already on this spinny surface. But you wanna be sure you're going with the grain, so trying to hold it still. Let's see, there's still some on there because I'm getting some of that finish off. It is coming off. Look at my hands. My lanta. Don't. I feel like I should be wearing a, like a mask. I don't know. Um, this is much softer on the wood. It's not scratching up so much, but you want to get some initial good scratches in there so then this one can come back and do some of the work. Okay. Again, this is all kind of in theory. Patty and I really talked about this this morning. Oh, that's like super gross. Um, we really debated on doing it because neither of us had practiced it or talked about it or done it in a very long time. We were both kind of like, eh. But then we said, you know what, it's fun. Let's do it. So here we are having fun. And my hand is a mess. I'm gonna just wipe this down and this is real wood so I don't want to like get it really wet or leave it really wet this does not feel like it did before I feel like we maybe didn't get all of the 
um, stuff off. What is it? What did we say it was? The finish. We didn't get all the finish off, but we definitely got most of it. Most of it is on my hand. That's okay. If I grew up on a cattle farm, I probably had worse things on my hands before, right? <laughs> For sure. Okay, now I'm gonna blow dry this because we don't want it to stay wet. also can't stencil on a wet surface. Water is like the enemy of stenciling. Super true. Too much, if your paint's too watery, if your brush is wet, if your surface is wet, it's gonna be a problem. Okay, I'm actually not gonna do the lettering on this one. I'm just gonna do my little cow here because I think she's cute. So it's not like tacking down, because this is a little bit of a not, it's real wood. Well, not that MDF isn't real wood, but it's got a grain to it, so there is kind of a lip. So I'm gonna have to hold on to it as I stencil. That's something important to notice. Why would I break into that stencil pack giveaway? Sorry, guys. That's something to just pay attention to. And if this live is going really long, I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. I'm so sorry. So if it is going long and you have to hop off because your lunch break is ending or something, don't forget we recast these in the evening. I think it's 9 p.m. now. We're trying to get that out there for those West Coast people. But we are recasting these. And they do stay on our website or you can check them out or they stay on our Facebook page. You can check them out on YouTube. We do post them on YouTube as well. So if you've not followed us on YouTube, we have a YouTube channel with lots of cool content being posted all the time that I am beyond excited about. And we've got some segments, some cool segments on there. Carrie is on our YouTube page quite a bit. If you have seen my live with Carrie, if you came to our Halloween party, you know Carrie and you probably know that she's fabulous. She's loads of fun. So be sure to check her out on our YouTube page. We also have some really, if you're new to stenciling, some really like how-tos for the basic stenciling practice. So be sure to check those out. And also, if you're checking us out on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, why not subscribe to our channel? And if you subscribe and hit the bell, you can be notified just like you are on Facebook if you follow us. And if you don't, you should. No. Um, you can be notified every time we post new content to YouTube as well, which is it, to me exciting because then I, you don't have to go hunt us down every time and see if we've posted something you'll just know that we have right and you can check it out at your leisure okay yes she is so cute a little bit wishing i would have done her in white but that's okay cute 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 so wow we're painting two projects today <laughs> That's okay. So good. I'm going to sit down for a minute, guys, while I paint this. I'm going to take a little hot second here. And I'm also going to remind you, if we haven't given them away already, we do have someone here live answering your questions and doing the giveaways and all that stuff for me. Be sure if you're on there, say hi. It's, if it's um, me on a live, it's usually Noelle and Patty answering so say hi to noelle and patty noelle is our fabulous social media girl we love her she keeps us all on track with social media i'm gonna have to really let this dry because i'm digging some funny holes up there on his ear okay so it might just be that it's needs stipple it's kind of wiping off seems like it could be that we did not get all of the sealer off maybe in some places feels possible <sighs> sounds driving me crazy so just the way it goes sometimes anyway so be sure you say hi to them in the comments and saying hi to them along with sharing and liking this video is going to get you entered to win one of our brush sets 
We're giving away three of those today. And I have a grand prize for one lucky winner. But if you stay tuned to the end of our video, I'll announce. Again, super fun to paint on things, especially kind of fun to experiment. Um, as much as I'm like kind of hating that I'm experimenting in front of everybody here and you're all watching, that's kind of fun. I mean, then you can know that we try things out too. Here at Studio R12, we're always testing on new surfaces, new types of things with different types of paints and styles because we want to see what works, what doesn't, so we can bring you, you know, things that we've tested, things that are tested and true. Also something else to check out. That's so cute. I love it. I'm not going to put the laurels or anything on it. I think the simplicity here is the beauty, right? Um, something else to check out, guys, is, of course, following us and liking us on Facebook, our YouTube channel. Um, we have Instagram, because, like, pictures, right? <laughs> this turned out really cute. It's not perfectly centered. I should have paid more attention. I should have used a T-square. But I think it's cute. I'm happy with it. We're going to multi-purpose sealer this. Again, we'll seal over it. I'm actually not going to do it on the video today just because I feel like we're getting into a little bit of a long place. But this is what we use for sealer. This is, let's see what brand this is. This is Americana multi-purpose sealer. We have Deco Art as well. I like them both. Um, I think Deco Art is the one that Patty says is her favorite. I don't have a favorite multi-purpose sealer. If you do, tell me what it is. And um, the other thing I probably would do on top of this was use that um, Clapham's beeswax because I want it to seal it really hard. And then I know it's food safe as well. So I'd probably do multi-purpose sealer and then wax on top of it, but that food safe wax. So we've got this. I'm gonna show you really quick before we hop off here today. That turned out really cute. I'm really happy. I have dipped, have dipped my hair in my pain. This is my day, I'm telling you. This is just, I'm here for it, guys. Okay, so, it's pretty good. <clears throat> so, what you're gonna do is line up, you see this right here, it's got a drill hole, and we have a hole here. So you line up like this, and then we send you the screws as well. You screw it in and then you spin it and you line this one up where it needs to go. So you're just kind of moving it, inching it along and before you know it, they're all in the right spot. Okay, so it's so easy. They line up with these, the highlighted ones. Let's see here, if I did it right. Then you'd spin it and you move this one to where it needs to be. And then before, again, before you know it, they're all lined up right. So that's how easy Assembling one of the Studio R12 Lazy Susans is. All right, that's all for today. I'm gonna show you our pretty project here on my lap. And oh no, it's not all for today because I have a giveaway I need to tell you about. Also, if I were gonna put this in my home, just for reference, I would run some black over top of that so that it's not so, um, like I made a mess. <laughs> Sometimes you do. Our giveaway for our grand prize winner that will be announced tomorrow is this pretty coral tumbler. I'm so excited about it. It has our Studio R12 logo on it. I've seen lots of comments, especially when Patty had hers for the first time ever on here. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, I love the tumbler. And so we thought, what better to do than give you a tumbler, right? So if you are our lucky winner, you are gonna win one of these tumblers. We're also gonna be having these for sale on our website. If they're not up already, be sure you're looking for them because they should be up soon. So these will be for sale on the website as well. So if you don't win, you can still purchase one in your favorite Tumblr color. Thanks for watching, guys.